Hi guys, my name is Josh, and this is kind of part two of this honey badger build. Um, in this build, I'll be explaining how you make the stock here, um, and this is it working. Stay tuned. This video will contain audio from the video and voiceover such as now. Uh, right here, we're just going to do an unboxing. As you can see, just opening up the top of the box, we have our stock in there. Pulling out the stock, pretty nice. Uh, aluminum. Our stock plate, pretty nice as well. Has a little screw to, or a little mounting point so you can mount a sling. And the bigger butt, butt plate for the stock. tools you'll need for this is potentially a um, AR tool, a set of um, drill bits, a drill, and something to hold your work down. Uh, disassembly of the stock is pretty easy. Just hit this knob on the side here, make it to full, and then on the other side we have this push button, and you just push that in and unscrew. Okay, so we have nothing in the cap. And then when we take this out, it will look like this. We have a buffer or some kind of we have a spring and a washer or something. Not too sure what the technical names are for all of these, but it um, does do something. There. So that just goes like that. And I'm assuming we're going to have to cut a hole in our bolt for this to go through. But other than that, it's pretty simple. You can kind of see through it there. In order for our gun to function, we do need to drill a hole in our bolt. In order to do that, we need to put a center punch right in the middle of our bolt for our guide rod. Now, if you're like me and you don't have a shop currently, you can use this makeshift setup I have made out of two clamps. It's pretty uh, makeshift, but it will work. Before we start disassembling the gun, we should take some measurement. The stock fully extended uh, measures approximately 10 and a quarter inches from the receiver of the gun. Still, with the stock fully extended to the front of the rail, it measures about 18 inches. With the stock fully collapsed, it measures approximately 7 and an eighth of an inch. And with the stock completely in from the rail system, to the back of the stock, it measures about 14 and 3 quarters of an inch. Now that we have our measurements, time to remove the stock. Take your AR tool and start to break down your gun. After you've taken that nut off like so, uh, just wheel the nut off keeping pressure on that plate. You don't want to spin the plate or else that little spring in there which I pointed to will potentially break or bend and that's really bad for that spring. That spring holds your selector switch or your, sorry your pin, your receiver pin in place so you don't want that to just being very loose and free falling out. Now spin your buffer tube with everything back uh, until it's completely unscrewed and as you can see there I have quarter modded my gun and uh, If you want to see what that does, I'll show you in a future video Now take your receiver plate and put it on your new buffer tube slash stock of the Collapsible stock uh, make sure it's the right way and just spin your new stock on pretty much just like the removal of the buffer tube Putting on the other uh, buttstock, it's pretty easy. Two Allen, two Allen screws, you just remove either side, then slip the new one on. Make sure you slip it on far enough because there is holes that the Allen screws actually seat into that metal bar 
Um, so make sure that your stock is seated properly before you put the screws in. Now the next and final step of this process is putting your spring back in. Now I'm going to put an AR spring, a real AR spring into my gun and not the WE one and I highly recommend this and if you want to see what length you should cut your spring at uh, I have a video that will be up shortly of how to do that. Um, once again I recommend it because the shorter stock will need a stiffer spring. Once again if this video isn't up by now it will be up shortly and the link will be in the description below and while you're at it don't forget to subscribe I've done actually this is the part two of the honey badger build and if you want to see part one and three you're gonna to have to wait for part three but part one is already up and you can check out my channel and uh, yeah thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day